Hey guys, it's Hexer18, how's it going? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you another exploit using Metasploit in Windows 7 Ultimate. I'm sure it will work on Windows XP from what I was told. Uh, Windows XP Service Pack 3 and uh, Vista works, uh, win other Windows 7 work as well. However, a Windows 7 Home Edition that was on my brother's did not seem to work. So this is Windows 7 Ultimate and it seems to work just as fine. Um, I'm going to show you how this works and uh, I'm going to show you the commands as well. So uh, I have Metas uh, Metasploit here running um, in my terminal for my Mac. You can use your backtrack, that works fine. Just make sure it's up to date with the latest, okay? Um, with the latest exploits. And then what you want to do is uh, by default usually the Windows 7 system has remote settings as allow the remote assistance connection and uh, allow the connections uh, right here for your desktop remote desktop and this is where it's really important right here this less secure right here that's where the the problem is it uh, I'm going to show you how to how this works and how to prevent it too so uh, let's go ahead and get started this is all good right now and um, let's go ahead and, uh, and see what we can do here. Now you're going to need to know what the IP address of the system is. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just grab the IP address and do an, instead of doing an nmap scan because this is uh, going to be a waste of time for the video to do that since we already know what the system is. In this case, if we didn't, we would be using nmap, of course, to scan the network and find out what is running on that net on the network. So the IP address is we're going to be using is a local IP address 192.168.135. So um, let's go ahead and try that out here. So what you do is you type search ms12. And what we're doing here is the exploit is MS12020. It's the RDP exploit, okay? Right here, this the very first one is DOS, right here. All right. And what you're going to do is copy that, use command, uh, type use, and then paste that. Press enter. And like I said, every time when you're using Metasploit, you always want to do the show option so you know what you're going to be doing or what needs required. What needs required here is the R host. So we're going to say set R host. And this is the target address. So that would be the Windows 7 IP address 192.168.1.35. Press enter. All right. Now we're all good to go, and you just say exploit and press enter, and watch what happens. A blue screen of death. And the blue screen of death, what it does is it causes it to crash. It reboots the system, and uh, that's pretty much all it does. Now how can this be malicious? Well, you just saw what happened. It pretty much took the user off offline it made them reboot their computer so anything they were doing they just lost any data that was not saved also this is very very scary thing to do if you know in any servers windows server 2003 and 2008 is also affected by this so um you may see other videos out there on youtube and um on other websites like in articles and blogs that talk about using the server uh 2008 it works on everything, even this Windows 7. The problem is, though, is, um, like I said, you're going to need that, uh, where it shows that less secure option to select that. It's going to take a while to reboot because it's done this to me before. So I'm just going to reboot, uh, restart the hard way here. And just do a hard reset. And uh, this time it should boot just as fine. I apologize for those who were expecting videos a long time ago. I've been extremely busy. Uh, right now, I am working about 30, 35 hours a week, and I'm trying to stay for my Compte A+, and Network+, Plus. and eventually I'll get to C Security+, Plus and my CEH, but uh, right now the A+, Plus is very important to me right now, so that I can get a job into what I want to do. All right, we're back in Windows 7. And right now, since we do know what the IP address is, it's already connected back up on the internet and everything. You could have this going in a loop. 
And yeah, that would really have them uh, getting disconnected all the time. They wouldn't be able to get on at all. That would be very mean. <laughs> Um, but, uh, what I want to show you here is prevention now. So there's two ways of doing this. Um, you can set, you can do exactly what this shows right now. Don't allow the connections and just uncheck that box there, that allow, uh, assistance connection. And if you do this and hit apply and hit okay, close out, you'll be okay. Now, um, what I want to tell you about this too, don't, you don't want to post in the comments and say, well, all you have to do is have a firewall up. That will prevent it. No. Actually, I believe I have my firewall turned on. Uh, I checked this out before, and it was turned on. Yeah, it's uh, it's turned on. It's not updated, but it's turned on. But, yeah, it worked. Um, now, I want to show you what happens if um, we, we run this again. It's not going to work. It's going to flat out give us an error, basically saying, uh there's no uh, remote desktop running there's no there's nothing running there's no connection uh, so that port is not open 3389 that's the uh, remote desktop protocol okay now uh, I want to show you when you change the other option let's say we want it on and we want the more secure, the network level authentication. So if you must have a remote desktop, if you really use it a lot, make sure you select the users or add those users that are authorized to use the remote desktops. That's that's how you should be using it. Okay? Don't allow all connections or all versions. That's not that's not safe, not very smart. Um, but Many people will have that on there if they uh, they don't want to deal with this kind of stuff. Um, but this is the more secure way of doing so. Honestly, when I'm not using remote desktop, I uncheck all, all of it. So um, I only use it when I need to. But Windows, I'm not. I don't use no remote desktop. Okay, so we are going to apply that with the network level authentication more secure check the box it's good all right we're throwing it again and this time it's gonna basically just say that it sent it but the it's checking the RDP status it's still up it's not down like it was up here it says it was down and that's when it worked now it did send that module exit it did execute that uh, that module that was sent, that exploit, the exploit was sent, but the system is still up, or that RDP is still up. It it pretty much blocked is what I'm basically trying to say here. Um, and then this one above it is just it didn't connect at all. It timed out. Did no uh, no open port. So um, some of your comments, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this exploit. I think it's pretty cool. There was one uh, that's newer too. That was the the 25th of April. Um, that was uh, it was a document file. And that one was kind of scary too. I never got it to work for me. Um, I might have a better chance using the Microsoft Office 2007. There's an exploit in that. Uh, it said it worked for 2010, but 2010 just didn't work for me. So I didn't know if it was just a little bit newer or what, but didn't work for me. But uh, I'm just rambling on here, guys. I apologize. Uh, do your thing. I'm going to keep posting videos. I'm not quitting anytime soon. So uh, I guess I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye.